Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys for like the fourth time now how to install the awesome Pixelmon mod. again is because there have been a few changes since this new pixelmon update and since i made that video it was actually so unfortunate literally the day after i made that video there was a brand new minecraft launcher that came out so everyone was confused on how to do a couple of those steps but today i'm going to be clearing everything out so that you all know exactly what to do i've literally gotten like a thousand comments saying that my last update tutorial video doesn't work so hopefully this one helps and if it does be sure to go ahead and leave a like rating and subscribe for a lot of pixelmon content but anyway let's get on into the tutorial so first things first i just want to say i am using google chrome and i highly recommend that you all use google chrome because well, first of all, it's the best web browser out there, but also a lot of the errors that people get are because of the web browser that they're using, so I'm not too familiar with a lot of the errors people get. So if you're all using Google Chrome, I should be able to help you guys in the comments down below with those errors. Alrighty, so first things first, you're gonna need to get and download Java. Now, like 95% of you probably already have this, so most of you guys can probably skip this part, but if for whatever reason, the rest of the tutorial doesn't work make sure you go back and download java also all the links that i'm going to be going over will be provided in the description down below but anyway to download java all you gotta do is click on java download and then agree and start download for free blah 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 and then it'll pop up down here click on keep and then click on java setup and then it'll open up here click on install i'm not going to click on install because i've already done this multiple times but for you, you should just click on install. But now you can exit out of the Java download and head on over to Minecraft 4. So when you click on this link, you want to make sure that you're on 1.12.2 over here on the sidebar. It might by default put you on 1.14. You just want to go ahead and click on 1.12 and then 1.12.2. So this is one of the stages that has changed since the last tutorial to this one. So now you want to be downloading the latest version of Minecraft Forge 1.12.2. Last time I told you guys to download the recommended version, which was 2768. But now the latest version is 28. 38. Now, if you guys are watching this video in the future, the latest download of Forge might change. Like, it might be different because you're watching this, let's say, six months later. If that is the case, I would recommend going and trying to download 2838. And then if for whatever reason that doesn't work, try just downloading the latest version at your time. Now, to find the all the other versions of Forge, you just want to go down here and click on Show All Versions. So if 2838 is not the latest version at the time of you downloading this, all you have to do is click on Show All Versions, which is right down here. And then you can hit Control F on your keyboard, which will bring this up right here. And then you can just type in 2838. And then you'll see it'll be highlighted right down here, which is right here. And then you can click on installer. Boom. But right now, since it still is the latest version, all that we have to do is go ahead and click on Windows installer. If you're on Mac, I believe you should be clicking on installer right here. But the majority of you guys are probably on PC slash Windows. So we're going to go ahead and click on Windows installer, which is just going to straight away download the Minecraft Forge version that we want. So we're going to go ahead and click on keep. And there we go. Here is Minecraft Forge. And so now what you can do is just go ahead and click on that version, which is going to open it up. And then you just want to click on OK. And boom, now you have Forge 1.12.2 version 2838 installed then you can go ahead and click on the x button out of minecraft forge and we can go on to download the pixelmon mod itself hey look whose video it's showcasing let's go dude it's that's me it's uh it's my video let's watch it just kidding we, we, we don't have to watch the whole thing i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding but anyway i feel like i should do this if you guys do want to donate to the mod which i highly recommend you can go ahead and click the donate button right here uh, it does give you access to wearing trainer caps and sashes, so I recommend doing that. Also, if you scroll down, it shows you all the change logs and all of that stuff in case you guys didn't know. But anyway, to download the mod itself, all you gotta do is click on this download button. But wait! There's more. Before you click on the download button, please listen. Don't, like, don't click on it yet. Don't do anything yet. Just listen to what I have to say. So, when we click on this, there's gonna be a lot of ads that pop up. Unless you have ad blocker. If you have ad blocker, you have to disable it temporarily by clicking on it and then you click on da, 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 pause on all sites. So yeah, and then to resume, you just gotta click on it again and then hit resume blocking ad. But for now, it has to be paused. So 
When you click on download, it's going to take you to a page, and there's going to be a lot of stuff that pops up, but you don't want to click anything. Trust me, you don't want to click anything. Here we go. Watch. Three, two, one. Click download. A bunch of things are going to pop up. And see, look, don't click on it. Don't click on download. Don't click on behind my face cam. You can kind of see it. There's an allow deny button. Don't click on any of that. All that you want to look at is in the top right here where it says skip. There's a countdown. I didn't, I didn't point out the countdown, but there's a five-second countdown. Um, I, until the skip pops up, all you got to do is click on skip when it pops up and then boom, Pixelmon starts to download in the bottom left here and then a bunch of other stuff starts popping up, but you can just click the X button uh, and the X button and then boom, we're back to the Pixelmon mod. Down here, it says this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep the Pixelmon file anyway? Yes, you do. Of course you do because it's the Pixelmon mod. Of course you do. I promise there's nothing wrong with it. It's just Google Chrome being awesome and letting you know that you're downloading something. So anyway, you want to go ahead and click on keep and then boom, here is the Pixelmon mod itself. What you want to do now is click on the little arrow button right here and then click on show in folder. And once you've done that, we can go ahead and exit out of your internet browser. We don't need that anymore. I don't need this anymore either. That's awkward. All right. So now that we have the Pixelmon mod right there, what you're going to want to do is go to your search bar in the bottom left here, or you can simply hit your windows key on your keyboard to get here. And what you want to type in is percent app data percent just like so and then you go ahead and hit your enter key or you can click on this folder right here i'm going to hit the enter key because it's just easier and boom you will be greeted with a folder or a location in your file explorer that has dot minecraft now obviously you need to have downloaded minecraft and played it you need to play the 1.12 version like vanilla before you can download forge and whatnot so make sure that you just run minecraft simply and then you can close out of it you don't even need to, you just need to run it and then you're good to go then your minecraft version should be here now what you want to do is double click on your minecraft folder and we'll be greeted with a ton of other folders within it now i have like a ton of extra folders that you guys probably don't have because i've been playing minecraft for like eight years now and this is just all the folders that have accumulated over time. If this is your first time downloading and using mods, then you will not have a mod folder, but it, no need to worry because that is very easy. All you got to do is right click in the white area over here and then go to new and then folder and type in mods, M-O-D-S. Make sure it's all lowercase, click off of it, and then you can double click into it. And this is now your new mods folder. Now, if you remember a little bit ago, we went and located the pixel mod mod in our file explorer. It's most likely in your downloads. If you didn't find that yet, all you gotta do is find your pixel mod download right here, click and drag it into your mods folder and boom. Now you have the pixel on mod in your mods folder. Perfect. So now we can exit out of both of those. We do not need that anymore. Now, the last step is going and running your Minecraft version and setting up all the proper settings. So like I said, since my last update video, there has been a brand new Minecraft launcher. And this is where a lot of people got confused from the last installation tutorial. What you're going to need to do here is go to installations right here. You click on that and then you want to go to new. You want to click on new right here and then you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Pixelmon. If you look right here, look, there's another Pixelmon tutorial video. This was for my last one and you can see the version that I used for that one was two or it was 2768, but we don't want to use that one. We want to click on version and scroll all the way down to the bottom where you'll see these are all of your forge versions and we want to click on the latest one that we just downloaded which I believe was 2838 or 2836. I don't know. I, I guess 2838 is even later because it's a, a higher number. So we're going to go ahead and click on 2838 and we should be good to go there. Now what you want to do, and this is also very important, ladies and gentlemen, is you want to make sure that you're using at least two gigabytes. So to check that, you just have to click on more options here. And by default, mine's already on to but you want to make sure that you're at least on two. Sometimes it's on one, sometimes it's on two, I guess. I personally play on four because I have a really good computer, so I can do that. But whatever the number is before this G here, you can switch it to however many gigs of RAM that you're using. I recommend four at the max. It depends on how good your computer is, though. But I believe Minecraft needs at minimum two gigs of RAM to run on. So you need to make sure it's at least on two. So after you change that to whatever number it is, either two, three, or four, depending on how good your computer is again, you can go ahead and click on create. Now after we've done that, we go back to play, and then we click on the versions down here, and you look for the version that you just made, which we called Pixelmon. It should be all the way at the bottom, and here it is, Pixelmon 
1.12.24. And now that all that is set up, we should just click play and everything should be good to go. I really hope. And so here we go. Here is Minecraft loading up. You can see it's working because it has the forge hammer. You can see that it's loading in all of the Pixelmon mods. And you can see here's initializing Pixelmon mod. It's going to pretend like it's crashing for a second, but it's okay. And here we go. Uh, you can tell that it worked because in the bottom left here, it says five mods loaded out of five mods active. Uh, if you go ahead and click on your mods folder, you'll see that Pixelmon is right here. Perfect. That is all good to go. So now that we have the Pixelmon mod, I'm going to be telling you guys the best way to play with your friends and the very best server to play on. It, it, it's, it's my server, of course. It's called Pokey Smash. So to play on the Pokey Smash server, all you got to do is click on multiplayer here, then click on add server. And then you can name it whatever you want. Um, we can name it sexiest server in the world. And then the server address, this part's actually important, okay? It's gotta be, oh, oh the, the server name doesn't actually have to be that. It can be whatever you want. But then the server address has to be mc.pokesmash.co. And then after you do that, you just click on done. You scroll down to wherever you just did that. Boom, sexiest server in the world. You double click it. You enter and bada bing, bada boom. You are greeted with the amazing and beautiful Pokey Smash server. Well, this is it's actually a network at this point because we have multiple servers. I mostly play on the Lucario server, which has 87 players online, which is absolutely amazing. But then, of course, there is the Eevee server, which has, I don't know, I think it said 49 players or something like that. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and play on the Lucario server, uh, which which is awesome. Look at my team. I have the best team in, in the world. Um, okay, my keybinds are all messed up because we're using a different version of forge we are getting a new hub very very soon or an, a new spawn very very soon i know this one's a bit bland but anyway if you guys are looking to play with your friends this is certainly the best way is just to hop on the pokey smash server and uh and and play with a bunch of new people along with any friends that you would like to invite but anyway ladies and gentlemen that is going to be it for today's video i hope that you all did enjoy if you did be sure to leave a like rating subscribe if you're new because I post a ton of Pixelmon videos every single day. So if you guys love Pixelmon, I believe that my that, that you would enjoy my channel. But anyway, that is going to be it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like rating, subscribe if you're new, all that great stuff. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Louder, alligators.